Yeah, man. Hello, my name is Miguel, and today I'm gonna make for you jerk burger or reggae burger. You're gonna need about half a pound of minced meat or grounded beef, a stock of scallion, some lettuce, burger bun, cheese, a couple spoons of oil for frying, sea salt, jerk sauce, a jerk seasoning. First, start by toasting our burger bun. Today, I'm using a raisin bread bun. I'm just cutting it in half, right in between the middle, like you would burger bun. Put to heat a skillet, a frying pan. Put the stove's gauge on low. We're going to toast our burger bun. That's how low you want it, almost off low. After about a minute or so and the pan is dry and hot somewhat, you just put your burger bun cut side down and just allow it to toast. After two minutes, this is what it looks like. It's a little bit overdone, but I'm going to show you what to do if it's overdone. Just get a knife and just scrape it lightly. That will get off the dark part of it. You see why it got overdone? It's because the skillet is a little bit too hot. We're going to use the same skillet. Fry our burger. Before we start preparing our burger, we just want to get this lettuce cleaned. About a tablespoon of salt to the lettuce. In a container, add water. If you don't have access to salt, you can use a couple drops of white vinegar. Now, go between the lettuce's grooves and make sure that it's clean in the corner, right in the middle. Make sure that there's no insect in between. Make sure it's clean. Just go through each leaf, look on it. And use your fingers and rub it if need to. The supermarkets rinse and spray clean these already. They should at least. But just give it a final rinse. And once you do that, then wash it off with fresh running water. And you put it aside for later. Now, remove plastic from this. Make sure that when you remove the plastic, you let not break off any small piece in the mince. So, do as you see me doing. I put the minced meat. This is minced beef. They have grounded beef, which is mixed with a little bit of fat and cow's ears and tongue and stuff like that. But this is minced meat. This is beef minced. The scallion is optional. If you have access to the scallion, just do as you see me doing and shred the scallion vine. See, I use this food scissors cut in between the scallion. Make strips. Now all the strips together and cut it and scissors it. Using the scissors to cut it fine. So all the scissors as, as fine and close to the edge as you can. So this is about two tablespoons of shredded scallion. Now add about a teaspoon of sea salt. You can use any salt, any regular salt not seasoning salt or seasoned salt this is jerk seasoning you can use any brand jerk seasoning measure and add one tablespoon only a tablespoon is sufficient for this half pound of minced meat see it's a tablespoon now it's best if you use your fingers and massage or mix or blend whatever phrase you prefer to hear this jerk seasoning with the minced meat you gotta work it in make sure that all the jerk seasoning the jerk season or the jerk sauce is in the minced meat thoroughly so you gotta massage it in use your fingers and do as you see me doing just kind of mix it in it's gonna get the meat a little bit darker that's what you want this is reggae hamburger or you can call it jerk hamburger that's what you want. You can make this hamburger in a circle or you can make it like a square. I use this container that it came in. It's just a perfect square. It's the size that I like. So what I do is just put the minced meat, the seasoned minced meat in the container and compress it. Use the container as a template to form a square burger. Use the palm of your hand with your fingers and compress it. Compress the burger. Make it compress it as, as much as you can. This is the idea. Just put it aside, let it stay for Put the lettuce on a dry paper towel and then allow the water to drain. Or if you don't, do as you see me doing. Tilt it and let it drain. With the same skillet, put the stove's gauge on low. Low. 
such as this i don't know if you can see well but low near to low almost off but more closer to low just so i won't forget see sometimes the same burger is that the burger that you get in the package it's not cooked straight through but it's cooked just enough to get rid of the blood or the redness and then when you get it at home now you can cook it another minute or two and then it's finished all right so add about a tablespoon between two of coconut oil i use and just allow it to get hot for a minute now after a minute now watch the pan is gonna start to smoke you see how you formed the hamburger it's gonna stay together it's a perfect square so you do as you see me doing and carefully remove the hamburger from the template maybe you have to use your finger and get in between the burger and the template container and kind of pry or get out the hamburger once you do that you put it to the heating oil cautiously and just lay it you gotta let it stay once it touch the pan you gotta let it stay you can't move it again until it's fried now do what you see me doing and make ventilation hold you can use a fork or you can just use this knife that i'm using and just make little little marks make sure it goes through all the way to the bottom of the pan all right so that's what you want you can make the holes while it fries when you go through make sure that you it's, it's kind of making the hole at the bottom so that when it fries the heat goes through the ventilation holes and cook the middle I'm not just juking the surface, I'm juking it all the way through to the pots, to the pans, to the pans bottom. The stove gauge is on low, almost off or nearer to low. It's nearly off. So you don't want to cook it too fast. But you want it hot enough so that it fries. You see how the, the steam is coming through the ventilation holes and creating these little, these little foam is a beef grease foam all right so just allow allow i didn't remove it i didn't shift it nor do anything just allow it to stay on that side all right so it's been frying away it's been four between five minutes you saw the stove gauges on low and move it between low and almost off low all right now Get a spatula, be very cautious, careful, handy. Try not to break your burger and flip it on the other side. You can use your hand, use your left hand to help brace it so that when you flip it, it doesn't, the oil doesn't splash and burn you. If some of you are saying there's too much oil in the pan, it's not in a lot of oil. In fact, you're going to see this burger going to suck up all that oil. And the oil too is from the beef. It's like beef oil. Let's stay allowed. While we wait for that, let's prepare. I almost forgot. I almost forgot this um, onion. If you like raw onion, you can always use these onions raw. But I like, I like my onions sauteed somewhat. So, do as you see me doing peel the onion remove the brown skin make sure it's just the brown leaf because the first layer of the onion is the strongest i stress it on every single video and then slice the onions in wheels or onion rings all right so do as you see me doing i separate the onions the onion rings and kind of put them on the side the skillet or the frying pan next to the burger cooking and just allow it to saute after four between five minutes eight between ten minutes in total this is what it looks like don't press the burger while it's frying because it's gonna squeeze out all that juice but sometimes you can do a dry fry you can compress it i have one video that i do it that way you can compress it and give it this kind of dry fry but today I'm not. After about two between three minutes more, a total of 12, 30 minutes. The onions sauteed enough to my liking. 
I just don't like raw onion, so I just wanted to saute somewhat. So it took about two to three minutes to saute. This is what the burger looks like. Like I said, it's done. Some people, if you're gonna like sell it or you're not gonna eat it now, now would be a good time to take it out, allow it to cool, and you put it in a sealed container like a Ziploc, and then you freeze it. In the end, I'm gonna show you what I do, because this is a very big burger. So what I do with it, I just cut it in half, and then slice each half in burger slices. So you see I was saying it's around 12 between 14 minutes in all. It took us to get this burger to the stage it's at. The onions is sauteed enough. It took around 4 minutes. If you want the other side to get as dark as the top, you can turn the stove up somewhat and just allow it to fry. So, it's been 15 minutes in all. Finish. This is good enough. See how it's done on the other side. That's what you want. Now, I'm gonna make Miguel's special jerk dipping sauce. So add a tablespoon of mayonnaise, one teaspoon ketchup. Visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe. Subscribe, like and share. Try making this reggae burger yourself and give us feedback. Now, I just remove the skin from a garlic clove and grind it to puree and add it. Or normally, I would use an onion like a piece of onion and grind it to puree to make Miguel's dipping jerk sauce. You can call it reggae sauce, reggae jerk sauce. Add a teaspoon of jerk sauce. Yes, normally too, I would take a piece of scotch bonnet pepper and cut it up real fine and then add it as well. That's if you want it spicy. If you're into spicy food, you can do that. But the jerk sauce is spicy enough. I don't need to add pepper. So once you add these ingredients, just mix it thoroughly. And this is Miguel's dipping jerk sauce. You can add a pinch of salt, but it's not necessary. It kind of spruce the flavor up, bring up the flavor, bring out the flavor. Now, we're going to dress our reggae burger. I like the name reggae burger because I want you guys to know it's jerk sauce in it. I'm going to mention the jerk, but I'm going to put AKA reggae burger. So this is Jamaica's cheese, Jamaican type of cheese. I'm just slicing it thin. This is our burger bun that's toasted. A little bit over toast, but it's not burnt. It's okay. Take a couple slices of lettuce and place it on your burger bun, the bottom piece of your burger bun. Next, add slices of cheese. Normally, I would add or spread the Miguel's dipping jerk sauce on the bun because I wanted to show I'm going to do it a little bit different. So I'm just putting a tablespoon of Miguel's dipping jerk sauce. Now I'm adding my sautéed onions. I'm not going to use tomato with this burger. All you need is lettuce and cheese. And you dip in sauce with the onion. So this is jerk hamburger or aka reggae hamburger. Visit jamaicadinners.com for the recipe. Subscribe, like and share. Try making this burger yourself. It's a uh, hearty, um, manly um rustic burger flip the other side over and farm your burger so this is reggae hamburger so i just put that big burger patty on just for the picture but i'm not gonna eat all this burger so what i do is cut the burger in half this is like a half pounder so i'm not gonna eat a half pounder burger and you know them restaurant have quarter pounder this is a half pound. So what I do is, is cut the patty in half. And then I cut the half piece in half vertically. So in all, I'm having four pieces of patty. So this, this piece of burger, this one piece of half pound burger can serve for four people. So I'm just showing you roughly how I do it. And the remaining piece that you're not going to eat now, if you have leftovers, you can put it in a sealed container like a Ziploc. Seal it properly. 
make sure it's cooled first and then you put it in the refrigerator and freeze it you can freeze it up to three months once it's freezed once after you cook it and it's you just freeze it same time you can keep it in the refrigerator frozen up to three months and it will be good you just take out a, a slice and kind of heat it heat it on the same skillet for a minute or two on each side and then that's it all right so this is it you saw me take a couple slice couple bites of this jerk hamburger it's a good burger it's unique it's different it's flavorful kind of spicy you will enjoy it it's different it tastes like a burger there is a restaurant in Jamaica that's cooking this burger to be honest I've never had their burger before I always cook it myself I cook this before and, it, and I enjoy it every time when I want something different all right guys bye yeah man